All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we continue with our podcast, explaining to you and teaching those who like to know about the cult. It's called Islam. Now today I hope that uh, the Muslims they will be brave enough to call us and uh, to explain to us some questions where none of the Muslims is able to explain. And you know, I'm not going to ask the Muslims like. Uh, questions about how to make a nuke even though they love to do it uh, simple questions like who is Allah they don't know what Allah mean they don't know you see tens of articles written by Muslims about who is Allah none of it is truthful and none of it is giving you anything have to do with the question It sounds like this God is hiding in the darkness and all what those Abdul know that their God have a name and his name is Allah what Allah mean they don't know is Allah Arabic word they don't know and then we search in the internet when we will find tons of articles let me first be sure that my Skype is open so in case some Muslims would like to call all right uh, because we don't want to waste the opportunity to see a Muslim calling us uh, as you know we have a problem that no Muslim they are ready to call and this is something we face every time we do our podcast really we get a Muslim he have the courage to do so um, so we will see uh, you know uh, what will happen today our Skype right now is open <clears throat> and any Muslim would like to call feel free anytime you wish to call us and you know I'm not really against uh, you as a Muslim I don't know you you do not know me right uh, we are here trying to explore uh, what you believe in and what make you angry and what make you uh, wish to die for the sake of this God who is this God what do you as a Muslim know about your God how you can worship a God you know nothing about him even your prophet himself according to your Islamic resource never spoke to him have you ever heard of a prophet of somebody he claimed to be God but he never spoke to him have you ever heard of a messenger he never received a message from the mess from the one who sent the message to make it simple the Muslims believe that Muhammad here received messages from his God but through a middle guy his name is Jibreel even the name Jibreel if we ask the Muslim what Jibreel mean we don't know who is Jibreel he's an angel why he's called Jibreel we don't know is Jibreel an Arabic name we don't know the fact I know for sure what it is but Islam is based on theft Muhammad he stole names he had nothing to do with them this is why he do not know what those names mean and this is why you cannot find one Muslim books explain to you who is Jibreel and what Jibreel is about why his name is Jibreel is Jibreel is one word two words three words who is Mikael who is Israel I mean all those names Eel 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 they end with Eel what Eel who is Eel no Muslim have an answer the Muslims they are so good at writing articles and all these articles is nothing but fictions I will give you an example this is a website and the purpose of this website to convert you to Islam here we go convert me to Islam why Islam <laughs> I will tell you why Islam Islam is for the donkeys what do you mean why Islam there's no way a person he have a brain he will accept this religion as religion it's not even accepted as a cult Dr. Jamal Badawi, he is willing to debate any Christian about Islam except those who knows Islam, which means he debate people who have no idea what Islam is about. So he can give them lecture about Islam, but they cannot question him and they cannot get him busted. So the proper methodology used in Islam for God is Allah. There are numbers of reasons for having a special word of for God. First of all, the term Allah means in Arabic 
the one and the only universal God. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I challenge any Muslim to show me where this idiot he is getting this info from. This is not even an Arabic word. What's wrong with you, Muslims? Where this is coming from? The flea market? Hmm? Or a creator? Look, 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 guys, look how, how many variety of meaning Allah have. Look, look, look. Suddenly, he was the only God. Now he became the creator. Allah mean the creator? Where you get this from? Is it the only universal God or the Creator? It cannot, is, is it both? What do you mean, or? Notice here, I am emphasizing the one and the only one. Eww, the one and the only. Eww. So a Muslim would not simply say there is one God. That would be as accurate as a strong as an ex expression as saying the only one the one and the only God I mean this is even against the Quran isn't it the Quran like here look he says the only creator of the universe isn't it the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators the best best of the creators Correct, Muslims. So, how Allah is the only creator? If Allah in the Quran He say He is the best of the creators, that's mean the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot, whoever he is, and he cannot be Allah if Allah is God. If Allah is God and He is the only creator. And then the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators. That sentence contains two information to deliver to us or two info. The first one is Allah is the best. Be my witness. Then he is the best of what? The second you say he is the best, that's mean you are comparing him to something else. You see, when I say I am the best, I must be comparing myself to people who debate about Islam, not about somebody he is, etc. A human being, he have to be a human being like me, right? And he have to be a person who is specialized in what I do. Like if I am an eye doctor, I will say I am the best eye doctor. So there's many doctors and I'm the best. So when Allah, he says he is the best, and then he say he is the best of the creators. That mean he is the best of the creators. If there is no creators, which means the letter S is falsely added, that means the word best is a stupid because he should say nothing about that. He cannot say he is the best of creator, even creator without creators. Because best compared to who? Imagine I am the only person. Let, let us say I was the first man in this earth. My name is Adam. Let me introduce myself before even Eve is created. And I say to you, I am the best man. <laughs> like, what the heck? You are the only man anyway. <laughs> are, are you dumb or what? Are you taking too much hashish? Is that is that the impact of the morphine or cocaine or heroin? If you are the only one, how you can be the best? And if you are the only creator, how you say the best of the creators? Now, do you know where where Muhammad he said that the best of the creators? Anyone knows? Muhammad he said the word the best of the creators in a special occasion 
Anyone knows? Any Muslim knows? There is two stories about the best of the creators. First time Muhammad he learned the word the best of the creator from a guy he used to be his inscribe. The inscribe who write for Muhammad, he is the one who said he was writing for Muhammad Quran. So when Muhammad he said some Quran, the guy he like it. So he said, "Praise be to Allah, the best of the creators." Muhammad he said to him, "Write it as it is." <laughs> the guy he said, uh, "But this is what I said." Muhammad he said, "Yes, yes, this is how it came to me too." What do you mean it came to you? He never, he never said that. So Muhammad he like what this guy he said. And he told him to write it down in the Quran. And this is why this guy, he left Islam. He ran away. He left Islam. Now, guys, we just started. Please invite your friends and share the link with your friends in Facebook, etc. And don't forget to tell the, the Muslims that we have... Uh, uh, Allah he made the prize that those who defend Islam and debate me Allah will give them a give out at the end of the month a brand new version coming with her works I mean the the private part never been touched as the Quran describe it never been touched not even by a human or genie which is very important I mean we have a God he says he is the best of the creators but yet there's no other creator supposedly he said that he is going to give you a version, but you want to sleep with them, but they are just going to stay a version. I, don't, I wonder how you are going to sleep with them. How you will sleep with them and they will stay versions? Anyway, he is the best of the creators. Are you going to discuss that with him? He know how to do it. Maybe the Muslim, he will put his private part in the nose. She will stay virgin. I don't know how. Now, we want to focus about who is Allah. All what do you see in this article is hocus pocus. It is let us uh, let us make it simple. Muslims they have a faceless faceless God, faceless God. They have a God they never spoke to. Their prophet never even say hello to him. And they try to make this God a God. So they try to give him all definitions, but all those definitions doesn't work. And what make this religion is more crazy by the way you might hear some uh, uh, some dummy even those who, who claim they knew Islam and they debate about Islam I'm not going to name them you might you might hear them in a video saying that Allah is a word mean God Allah is not a word mean God Allah is the name of their God you see if the if the word Allah mean just a word mean God it's not a name that mean when the Muslim he say there is no God but Allah he should not do that he say he should say there is no God but God you know what I mean the Muslim when he takes Shahada he don't say there is no God but God he said there's no God but Allah. If the second word is the same as the first word and both of them they are word mean God, he should not say that. He should say there's no God but God. There's no need to keep the word Allah anyway. But Allah is two words connected together. And we explained that many times before. But we can do it again. In Arabic today, the letter AL is equal to the. Equal to the. So L is equal to the in English. All right. However, in the old languages, Semitic languages, including Hebrew and Aramaic, L is an equal word to God.
All right? Click notes. So now we knew that in the language today in Arabic, L use generally speaking as uh, two letters in front of any names to make it the. Let us say you say the house, the car, the etc. The same as in English, you say the the. However, it is not really that in the original languages when it's come to a name and that name of God, that is God. So when the Muslim they say Allah, they say to you the following Al and La. Let's make it up here so we can separate between them. Okay. Al La that mean equal to the God. For the first one, the first one, the first two letter AL is the God. La is his name. Are we getting it? So the God, uh, L, L is a word meaning God. And you are speaking about specific God. Because now you're adding a name ex uh, after it. So the God, La. So the real name of the God of Islam is not Allah, it is La. You can go and take you two seconds to search for the God La. And you will find La that he is the name of the moon God. Should we do it right now? We can do it. Let us go. We open a search engine. Okay. And then we go here. Hold on. God. You see, if you notice with me here, uh, by the way, I don't sponsor any of those websites. Uh, yeah, yeah, is a word meaning God. Yeah, yeah, actually not yeah, not necessarily yeah, it is yeah, yeah. La is the name of that God. And that God is the moon God. And the Egyptian, they worship this moon God as the only God. Egyptian they believe in one God and this God his name is La and that God his symbolic is the moon and specifically the crescent moon this is why you see it in their old uh, art you will see the crescent moon, and this is the moon in the top of the crescent moon. Now, uh, when somebody come to us and say, because they don't, do not know, they say in the Bible, the word is, it says Yahweh, right? Actually, there's not even one name in the Bible for the name of our God. All those names, they are not names, they are titles, which is just a word being God. However, the word La is a name for God. It is not a word being God. Actually, even the word we find in the Quran, as an example, if we ask you, where is the location of the most uh, holy place for the Muslims? You will say to me, Mecca, right? Mecca. Okay. Let us see Mecca. Because we will try to connect things together. This is the word Mecca appear here. 
and this is a chapter 48 verse number 24 we click at the translation it appears only once in the Quran all right now read with me here this is this is the 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 the, the word written not in the English style Mecca but the fact this is not how it is you see the word Mecca the correct name is not Mecca it is Mecca in Arabic is written today in the Quran with letter K as you see it in the screen but the correct way is Mecca what does that mean to write it in English we will make it like this Makkah Makkah or Al Makkah is the name of the temple of the moon god which is located until now in Yemen located until now in Yemen so there is, there is one of two solution for this problem the Makkah we have today is not what is what the Quran is talking about is talking about the Makkah if you go right now and search let us try El Makkah all right Um, let us see if we can get El Mecca, El Mecca, here we go. Actually, there's a book here. Look like there's a book. This is a book. Uh, we don't want that. Let us go back to Google. Search in Google. All right. Let us go to images. I don't know what is that. Hold on. This is taking us to wrong. Uh, Wikipedia, etc. Ba 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 ba. All right. This is about Al Mecca Temple. Uh, you can read there are some articles here. The fact that this temple is built by the Sabian. You heard of the Sabians, right? Did you guys heard of the Sabians, right? Even the Quran mentioned the Sabians. The Quran says that those who they are Christians and Jews and the Sabians, they have no fear and they will go to heaven. So the one who built this temple is the Sabian and Muhammad for a long time he was called a Sabian for he was a Sabian and the temple of al Makkah, which is the temple of the moon god is the temple of the Sabian built by the Sabian uh, Let us try to find more info for you. All right, here we are seeing the images of the temple of Al Makkah. This 
this is an article we don't want that okay all right all those images have to do with al makkah temple They might look weird for you, but this is what it is. This is the origin of Allah. And this is uh, built by the Assyrian. You will be surprised, right? The Assyrian is the one who built. I mean, it's hard to believe that the Assyrian, their impact went all the way to Yemen, but they, they did, you know? The religion of the Sabian is spread all over. Like, let us say, in certain time, the Sabian belief was like a Christianity today. So it was a major religion. But let me see if I can go here to the images. This is the temple of Al Makkah. But simply, this is what is left of it. All right. And I believe strongly that the temple destroyed by the Muslims because of their ignorance as usual. You know, you know what ISIS they did, right? And they always do that. There's nothing new. So the temple of the moon god is located in Yemen and it's called Mecca. Now, if you go and study languages, you will notice. I don't know if you remember the Muslim they say that there is many dialect in Arabic right however the people who 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 build the Mecca they don't speak Arabic and the people of Yemen the origin one they don't speak Arabic they are not Arab and Mecca is not an Arabic word uh, however in the Aramaic language sometime the same letter can flip you know as an example, sometimes the letter B can come as M. Somebody is calling. Hello? Hello. How are you? Uh, we are live on air. How are you doing? I know. I know. I'm, yeah. I'm good. I just want to tell you something. All right. My friend uh, you once talked to yeah. became... Christian and left Islam. Wonderful, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. I, I, just mean, want I mean to that. And what 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 happened to her family, the the, the mullahs of Hezbollah? Yeah, um, they don't know till now, uh -huh. but uh, she will try. Because as uh, as I know that uh, her uh, her brother, he is a big uh, big deal uh, guy in Hezbollah, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yeah, he is. So like, I think this guy he want to kill me now. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if he can do it, he will do it. He would love to do it. Anyway. No, no. I'm sorry, Sunny. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Okay. And you're in the bar. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he will add you in the list. You are in the hit list too. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. All right. Well, I'm so glad to hear this news. You know, because I did not hear from you about her anymore. So uh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy for her. Thank you. Because she was waiting for happy. Yeah, she was waiting for me to debate her uh, her scholar, right? And this what uh, yes. supposedly. Mm -hmm. But too bad we did not have the the debate happen because I want the debate to happen, you know. Not only for her, so everybody can see how how uh, how you know how funny stupid this religion is. Yes. Mm. Maybe one day you don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. This day doesn't look like it's coming. I keep waiting for them and never could like I was when I heard the ring, I said, okay, wow, that's a Muslim calling. <laughs> you know what? It was you. <laughs> uh, well, only... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not a Muslim. Oh, no, right. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. That I'm not... How is how is, uh, okay. how is your husband doing? It's, he is okay. Yeah, that's good. Well, you yes. know, uh, I hope uh, you will bring me more people to talk to, and I will be happy to spend my time with them, and let us see what the Lord will do. You know? I will try my best. Yeah. Do you, okay. Do you have anything else you want to say to us and share? No, thank right. you. For... Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. God care. bless you. Bye. Bye-bye.
All right. Well, you know, I don't know if you remember. This is a lady. She is uh, she's a Muslim, and she is Shia. And her family, they are like big mullahs in in Lebanon, and they are leaders of Hezbollah. So uh, supposedly, after I spoke to her, um, she said uh, to the lady she spoke to me right now. They told she told her like she there's a there's a, a big shake in Lebanon maybe the biggest like for Hezbollah he want to debate me and he promised that if he if I won the debate she will leave Islam you know if this guy he could not debate like I mean he could not answer he could not come with any uh, you know so she will leave Islam but look like the debate it was not needed and this lady she became a Christian already so I'm so happy for her and may the Lord bless her and. Uh, Good news for her. I mean, like you know, I feel sorry for the Muslims. You see, this is why I say, I might sometimes be angry from the Muslims. I might be uh, uh, because of the violence and the you know, like killing, etc. This is disgusting. But at the end of the day, Muslims are victims. You see, all those Muslims who want to burn flags, who want to burn cars, who want to do jihad, all of them they think that they are doing good for God. You remember where Jesus he said time will come and people they will think by killing you they are doing a favor to God and this is exactly what the Muslims do they think by killing you they are doing favor to God but the fact what they are doing have nothing to do with God in any way in any mean and their God is a funny one stupid one and even they do not know who is he so we were saying we will go back to our topic and thanks for our sister for informing us about the update we said to you that sometime the letter M as you see in the screen can change and can become ba. let me give you an example <clears throat> And all of this has nothing to do with the Arabic this is not because of the Arabic this is because of the Aramaic if you read with me here it says for those who know Arabic in let us go and read the translation Yusuf Ali The first house which was built to you is the one who is in Bakka. But where is Bakka? You can change the translation, by the way, if you don't like Yusuf Ali. But I'm trying to see which one he used the Arabic letters, you know, in order to show us. Read with me here. Do you see the difference? What the difference between the one we saw in the previous verse and this verse the letter ba correct mecca became bakka none of the muslims have an idea why this happened i mean is it bakka or mecca <laughs> the fact none of them have to do with the city which the muslim they speak about the first house of worship appointed for man was at bakka That is the temple we are talking about. The temple of Al Makkah, which can come as Bakkah. All right? You can go and read, and there's many articles about it. All right? And uh, there is many writers and many authors speaking about that. It's not, uh, it's not a secret. But you see, the problem is. Uh, we have we have a short knowledge and we are limited in the screen in front of us like we see a letter here a word here and we, we we stay with it okay the first house of worship appointed for man it was the one at Becca but where is Becca nobody want to ask himself and why is it Becca is the same as Mecca why here it is Mecca there it's Becca 
why the Quran itself is giving us two names simply because Muhammad is not the author of the Quran most of the Quran is not his make the book he's copying from is saying Mecca once saying Mecca once however both of them they speak about the temple of the moon God the Muslims they come with something that this temple was built by Abraham however if you go to the pictures of of the Kaaba there is something it's called al ruknu al-Yamani al -Yamani. A ruknu al yamani look with me this is the corner the other corner of the black stone which means the black stone in the right corner in the other corner in the Kaaba and this is the other corner it's in the front of your eyes this corner is called the corner of Yemen the corner of Yemen okay why it's called the corner of Yemen Is the picture clear guys for you let me take the banner down so you can see it better is it clear okay what is this Yemeni corner Muhammad he said whoever touched the black stone and the Yemeni corner and he hugged them and he kissed them all his sin is forgiven if you look with me carefully you will notice that this corner is not made from one kind of stones it's collection of stones do you notice that do you notice it's not like the same kind of stones like they are different colors right it's not it's not one stone from the same kind what is the reason for that you know you know that uh, uh, some some Christian uh, churches, when they build a church, they bring a bones of uh, let us say someone he was a very great Christian. We call him saint. And in the top of his bones, they build the church. They make a grave for him. So it's like a blessing for us to have a great example like him. However, this is a tradition. Muhammad, he is ordering the followers followers saying that if you hold the black stone and this corner all your sin is forgiven I will show you the hadith the black stone the Muslim they say that Allah he sent it down from heaven as a mark spot for Abraham which is very funny because as I know the first one who built the black the, the Kaaba it was the angels and look like the Muslims are so confused about their stories is it the angels is it Abraham is it Adam is it who because I can show you the reference right now as we speak that the first one who came down to do Hajj it was the angels and they do it 40 times before Adam and Adam was sent down to to to, the, to India so long before Abraham is exist there's a Kaaba supposedly I mean the Muslims are very confusing people you know like they, they have a collection of stories like a Mickey Mouse story cartoon every cartoon Every 30 minutes of the cartoon is different person and different character and uh, the, 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 today the uncle of uh, Tom is coming tomorrow the, the sister of Jerry but there's no story so if the black stone is a holy stone and Allah he sent it as a mark down for Adam what is the Yemeni corner any Muslim can tell us And look at those pagan people guys look look how they are bowing down and kissing the stones I mean and look at this hole I mean this hole is very weird isn't it so they dress the Kaaba and they open holes in the holy locations so people they can kiss it any Muslim can tell us what is the what what is it what is unique about this corner why if we touch this corner 
my sin is forgiven by the way I want to go there and I touch it because I have a lot of sin a lot of sin I go there I touch it with Christian Prince is clean he have no sin as like a baby I will go to the Kaaba in my coming trip and touch the black stone and I will touch the the the, the corner of Yemen and then I will all the things I did against Muhammad Allah will forgive it well, Christian Prince he said Muhammad is a false prophet Allah will forgive that I touched the stone I mean <laughs> I touched the corner come on <laughs> don't estimate like this estimate the uh, 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 the power of the corner of Yemen this is amazing corner so Muslims the lies you keep saying to us that Allah he sent a rock from the heaven to mark the Kaaba it make it holy okay this corner make it holy what any Muslim can tell us what make this corner happy uh, holy I mean guys sorry I, uh, sometimes I say words I don't mean it I am the same as Allah I want to say holy I said happy you believe it look like I, I I'm, I'm qualified to make Quran any Abdul wanna call me Any Abdul would like to call? No? I mean, why, you see, you remember we have our brother uh, uh, Adrian, he was debating the Muslim just two days ago. I mean, why the Muslims are lined up to debate those who have not too much knowledge about Islam, you know, and our brother, they, they did a great job. But he is reaching out to him. You want to debate? I mean, how come the Muslim don't see me? Why those Muslim don't say, "Hey, Christian Prince, I want to debate you." Those who claim to be they have knowledge and they want to debate and like they are, they are hot like papers, hot papers. How come not even one of them? He they, they call me. You see, my Skype is on. I mean, what I can do? Who is the Muslim would like to kill, tell us? Why if we touch the Yemeni corner our sin is forgiven? What is unique about this Yemeni corner? Guys Imagine if we can go in the middle of the night, you know, like a bunch of thieves huh? You like to be thieves. That's a good idea when it's come to this cult. We go there We take this Yemeni corner and we build a big casino in the top of it in Las Vegas and every Muslim in order to touch it he have to spend one thousand dollar in the in the in the machine <laughs> I mean you Muslim, you claim that you are not pagan and the Christians uh, the Jews the Hindus the Buddhas everybody is pagan except you I mean come on right but you are the one who kisses stones and you are the one who touches stones and you are the one who believe in holy stones and you are the one who thinks stones will forgive your sin and yet we are the one who is pagan I am a hate preacher why did I say hate anyone why I am a hate preacher you see the problem is because I spanked them so hard I am a hate preacher I never say hate anyone I just say it. This is why I say don't hate the Muslims. Just go, go back in the video and hear it. Right? I don't hate anyone. I hate stupidity. I hate ignorance. I hate garbage. You know, garbage in, garbage out. A prophet of God who is teaching you that there is only one God, but he said to you that Allah is the best of the creators. I mean, how stupid that is. It's like saying to me, there's no one like Christian Prince, and then you say Christian Prince is the best of the Christian princes. You just say there's no Christian Prince except a Christian Prince. So how he compare himself to other creators if there's no creators? It's a stupid religion. It's dumb. You do not need to be a genius to find out that this is a dumb religion made for the dumb one. And look, you know, I am God, my name, Allah, worship me. And in the same time, if you worship me and you don't commit sin, I will wipe you out and I will replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. <laughs> I mean, how stupid that is. Do you remember this hadith? Allah, he said to Muhammad through Jibreel, 
that if if the people don't commit sin and ask for forgiveness Allah will wipe them out of existence and he will replace them with people who commit sin so they can ask for forgiveness what is that man so now look what we have we have a God who like people who to commit sin so and they ask him for forgiveness and he to, in order to forgive your sin you have to fly thousands of miles spend all your money all your saving if you are from Bangladesh from Batatona from uh, Indonesia poor nations you know poor nation they spend their life saving just to come and touch this stupid stone then mm, kiss it do you remember my uh, my conversation with the with the Muslim website the chat? Why why the uh, brother? Why why the Prophet kissed the black stone? Uh, uh, because it is a holy stone. Why it is holy? Because the Prophet kissed it. What a stupid religion! Um, am I insulting when I say what a stupid religion? I mean, it is a stupid religion. And look at them. We are sitting here waiting for any Abdul to call us and tell us a reason for this stones in this corner to forgive our sin. And look, look here. This this corner here needs repair. Huh? Let me grab some cement from my garage. Hold on. Look at this hole here. What is that? What happened? Look like Allah is not doing repair. I mean, do you do you guys do you believe it? Let, let me show you something stupid about the Prophet. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Bad boys, bad boys. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when I come to you? Listen, do you know that even the Muslims they install a cable of thunder protection in the top of the of the grave of the Prophet? Let me get you a picture. Hold on. I know the Muslims are so upset for me because I say things which make them go crazy, but it's not my fault. I mean, it's if it's if your origin is stupid, what I can do? I'm not changing topic, by the way, but I'm going to show you something important. <clears throat> hmm. Let me see if I can find the picture. Unbelievable. All right. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, this is this is very embarrassing. Guys, do you see with me what is there? I don't know if you can see it or not. Do you see the thunder protection cable? Is it coming to you? Do you see it? In the top of the grave of Muhammad, they build a huge mosque, and this is the 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 the, the in, in the top the roof, you know, here, and you will see the cable here. I don't know if you can notice it or not, but let me let me draw something in it. So you might be able to see. You see it here? Do you see the cable? Okay. Muslims, why the prophet grave? He need a cable to protect him from the thunder. If the Quran said that Allah, He only sent thunder to hit with it the kuffar. Any Muslim have an idea? For sure, you don't have an idea. Since when you will have an idea? You see, for me, it is something easy to accept. I mean, it's very normal. You have a building, you have a moon in the top of it, made it from metal. That moon is going to attract the thunder. It's very normal, not a big deal. Actually, it's so smart to do it. But in this stupid religion, it is it is exposing because the Quran say clearly that thunder he Allah he sent only to hit with it the bad ones. So why you are worried about the grave of your prophet? Is he bad ones? Is he? Uh, 
I mean, this religion is a mad religion. Do we have any Abdul? Yeah, you know, the Quran says, if you go to chapter 13, verse number 13, uh, the Quran says that uh, Thunder, first of all, he is an angel. You know, uh, by the way, I met him before. I have an interview with him, Mr. Angel uh, Thunder, you know. Yeah, he's an angel. And he, uh, you know, uh, this angel is very tough. Now, I don't mind, by the way, that God, he can use the nature to punish somebody. Why not? He can. He can send the storms. He can, you know, God, he's in control. No problem. But this is not my problem here. The problem is that this thunder, it is Allah who sent it to, to hit whoever he wish. So why Allah he wish to hit Muhammad the grave? Each time they build this temple or this cetera, the roof, a thunder hit it and it's destroyed. So they, at, at the end, they learn from the Western that you have to put a, th a thunder uh, cable to, to stop that from happening. Huh? Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Do we have any Muslim? Did, did, did guys I say something wrong? I mean, why the Muslims are not calling me? I'm very nice. And the Muslim, they say Christian Prince is ignorant. And they say he is a stupid. And they say he know nothing about Islam. So why did they call me? The black stone from the Hindus. Yeah, we will go there. Don't don't jump over the salad, man. The twist tweet one by one. We are now focusing in the in the Yemeni corner. We want to know why this Yemeni corner uh, is holy. What make it holy? The black stone executes. We heard it one thousand time. Okay, what about this stone? What make it holy? It's not one stone. It's many stones, as if you, as if you notice. Let me zoom in more. Maybe you can get better image. Do you see it? Why, if I touch it, my sin is forgiven? Who is there? Is Allah is a stone? Who is the one who forgives sin? Who is the one who forgives sin? Is it Allah? Is it the stone, the black stone, the Yemeni corner? Yeah, there is a small hole, but don't worry. Be happy. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to uh, send some donation to uh, uh, Allah so he can buy some cement and fix that hole there. I mean, this is a dangerous hole. Well, imagine how many how many people they kiss this stone. I mean, this is the most disgusting stone ever. You know, if if it is not if it is not in a very dry area in the middle of the desert, you will see all kind of mold and diseases all over it. Actually, even the hadith says that the prophet used to clean the boogers from the walls of uh, the qibla. Boogers, Muslim, they throw boogers there. Mashallah. Yeah, this is not the black stone. This is not the black stone. This is a corner. It's called the Yemeni corner. The Yemeni corner. Now, the reason I mentioned that to you, because the Yemeni corner have to do with Yemen. Have to do with Yemen, obviously. Her name, the name of the corner, Yemeni corner. So imagine I say to you, the American corner. So what does that mean? It have to do with America. So what this had, what this, what this corner have to do with Yemen to the point it's called Yemeni corner. Any Muslim can tell us. Huh? This is the Yemeni corner after installing a new dress. 
<laughs> and your dress. <laughs> what a pagan religion. Now you Muslim are not pagan, aren't you? Huh? You dress even the even rocks you clo you close them. Hmm. Interesting. Any Muslim want to tell us what's happening? And why the opening always look like a private part? Excuse my language of a, of a woman. I mean, what all? And even the black stone actually. It's a. It's a. It's looked like a vagina. Look at this. Do you see it? What is that? Any Muslim have an idea why it's have a look like this? What is that? Like why it's not a square? Why it's not a? I mean. Why in that shape? Oh, don't think about it. This is the truth. This is, it's a vagina. The black stone, it was and it is a vagina. I can show even reference if any Muslim call me that the Arab before Muhammad, in the time even of Muhammad, they used to touch uh, their private part with the black stone so this is what happened or what was happening women when they have their period and this is what the, the tafsir say not me you see tafsir my friend tafsir tafsir say that that women used to place their hand over their vagina when they have their period and then they place their hand over the stone and the stone used to be white like milk but the sin of the women and the men made it black so after the women they touched their vagina and they and, and during the period not any time only during the period and they place their hand inside the black stone then the man will come and then he will rub his penis with the black stone and the reason for this ritual sexual ritual because those people believe that this stone bring fertility it is the one who will make the women and the man able to have sex and get a bread net. The women, she will, she will bear babies. If you remember, like when we spoke about Allah is the best of the creators, do you know Allah, he compared himself to who? Allah was comparing himself to who? When he said he is the best of the creators. Anyone knows? Nobody knows. Should I call a friend? Baal. He was comparing himself to Baal. Even the Quran witness for that. If we go to the Quran, you will see the Quran, the yellow pages, says the following. The problem with the yellow pages of Muhammad, it's not organized like the yellow pages we know. It's messed up. Anyway, <coughs> if we go here. We will see the Quran is speaking about Baal. Where is the verse? All right. Here we go. Chapter 37, verse number 125. Allah comparing himself to Baal. He did not deny that Baal is God. No, he approved him as God. He acknowledged him as God. How we can prove that? The verse says it clearly. You will you will ye call upon Baal and forsake the best of the creators? So Allah here he feel insecure. And he acknowledged that there is many creators and Baal is one of them. Do you see the S? Allah the best of who? Of creators. Allah comparing himself to who? To Baal. Now again here you will notice that Baal, for those who do not know, Baal is not one word. You remember we said that A-L is a word equal to God, you remember? Ah, guys, you forgot so fast. 
you guys getting old I am the only young one here Bal it contain more than one word let us write it down ba a and then l so god ba ba is the name of the god l is a word meaning god the l here appear at the end of the name we showed you i made a video before showing you that how sometime in the ancient languages the l can appear in the front or it can appear in the middle add an example the ancient name of a prophet Daniel it is Daniel all right so Al is a word meaning God Baal it is the God who is his name is Ba Baal Allah himself here or Al La is comparing himself to Ba Al. Are we following? If there is anyone don't understand. If there is anyone, am I making it hard? Okay. If you have a problem with understanding, there is a very simple way to understand according to the prophet there's two things can help can can boost your memory camel urine and honey so which one you like i go with the camel urine i mean this is the only prophet in history who asked his followers to drink camel urine. <laughs> i mean this religion is really weird pork is haram brother pork is haram is dirty is dirty brother is it dirty Brother, do you have some urine? MashaAllah, brother. Is it hot? Brother, can you hold the penis of the camel so we can squeeze it and make him pee? Camel urine. Oh, boy. And the funny, I have my coffee in the front of me. I forgot about it. I mean, I remember the coffee when I spoke about urine. This is disgusting. Hmm. What we can do. Do we have any camel? I mean... Any camel, any Muhammadan here? There is no question that this religion is the most astonishing, and for sure, Islam is not pagan religion. I mean, so what if the Muslim they kiss a black stone? The black stone is holy and sent by Allah. I mean, this is the only God, He made a mark by a stone. Hmm. You know, uh, once uh, I was driving in the middle of nowhere. It's like a desert, you know. So I I went to the GPS and I save I saved the location. You believe it or not, the GPS took me back. There's nothing. There's no mark. There's nothing. GPS. So Allah is sending a mark to build the Kaaba. And the mark was not sent to 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 Abraham as the Muslim Abdul they lie and they say to us. He sent it to the angels. Any Abdul? Why angels they need a mark? You know, the angel Jibreel, as an example, Jibreel, he came to Muhammad without knowing the address. Why the angels they need a mark to build the Kaaba? Actually, the story become more funny when the Muslim they speak about the flood of Noah. Anyone knows what happened to the, the Kaaba when the flood of Noah happened? Anyone knows? Who is a Muslim can tell us what happened to the Kaaba during the flood of Noah?
Any Muslim would like to call us? According to the Muslims, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, well. Allah He made a mountain which is very close to the Kaaba swallow the black stone, and He was a bread net with it. So when, because the Kaaba is destroyed. The Kaaba was destroyed. So, in order to come with the fiction story, to explain how the black stone stayed there. Okay, the Kaaba is gone, there was nothing. So now where is the black stone? They claim that, that the black stone was Swallowed by a mountain is called Jabalu Abu Qubais. Jabalu Abu Qubais. Let me let me look for it so I can show you <clears throat> where is Jabalu Abu Qubais. Actually, I need I, I need to find it in English first. Hold on, so you can read with me. <laughs> As you see. If you are watching with us, we are not just people who make videos about Islam. This is a free school. What you learn here, you will not learn anywhere. Is that true? I mean, here it's like we are in the library, aren't we? Right? So let us go and find. I will go to Walmart. Should I go to Walmart to find where the story is located? No, not Walmart. Hold on. What Walmart? What's wrong with you? Unbelievable. This guy, he want to find a story about the black stone and the mountain, get a bread net with it in, the, in Walmart. Crazy. Uh, all right. Do you see what I found right away in front of us? Look, look, look what the Muslim believe. Look, 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 look. Jabal, the Mount of Abu Qubais, the first mountain in earth. Unbelievable. What the heck? This is the first, and right away when you open a Muslim website, the pop-up uh, pop windows will come from everywhere and you will see six advertising. Guys, look with me, look. This website about the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. All right. What we see here in the side. Praise be to Allah. I mean, no comment. Anyone have a comment? No, we don't have a comment. I mean, this is halal. It's halal. What is that here? Halal. It's halal. Anyway. Okay. No comment. The heaven of Allah, all of it is about this. Let us continue. Let us continue. So the Mount of Abu Qubais is the first mountain on earth. This is the first mountain on earth? Okay, Abdul, hold on. As long Allah, he made the first mountain is the mountain of Abu Qubais. What is the need for the black stone? Already he made a mark there. I mean, is it enough to place a mountain? <laughs> all right all right let us see what this mountain did this mountain have a story with Islam the first ever mountain created by Allah guys is the text clear is the text clear or no can you read or you cannot let, let me know please if you cannot read because I think most of you are old not like me and your eyes are not sharp like my eyes you know, I can read a, lump, a number of license plate from like one meter away. You believe it? Anyway, so the first mountain created by Allah Almighty, you're right, 
is this mountain is directly opposite of the Kaaba. I mean, look, look at this accident. Is it accident or this is the plan of Allah? No way, Allah, Allah, He put the mountain right away next to the Kaaba. Actually, if you see with me in the picture, you will see where the mountain located, very close from the Kaaba. Close to the mount, <coughs> sorry, of a Safa. Now I can tell that the one who wrote this article is an idiot from Pakistan. Do you know? Do you know why we know that he's an idiot from Pakistan? Those people in Pakistan they use the word Hadarat. <laughs> Hazarat. <laughs> I love it. Hazarat. What Hazarat, man? What Hazarat? What is that? Huh? So they want to respect somebody. This is a Turkish statement, you know, a Mongolian from the Mongolian language. Hazarat. Hazarat kum, like your, uh, 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 you know, like your highness or your, um, uh, like uh, your mister, you know. So Hazarat Adam, <laughs> Hazarat Adam, AS, AS does not mean as, it means alayhi salam, which means a uh, 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 blessing upon him. Took a rock from this mountain when he built the Kaaba, very first time. On earth, Ooh, that's deep. That is deep information. That is astonishing. So, from the whole mountain, Hazrat Adam, he took a rock. I love that. I mean, from the whole mountain, only one rock, he took it from there. Why? <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. I need a break, man. This is too much. This is too much wisdom. And okay, guys, do you understand what I'm saying? So Hazrat Adam. Hmm? Allah. When he built the Kaaba. He took a rock. Come on, see, uh huh? Hello. I don't like it. Okay. He took a rock from the mountain. Allah. Are you satisfied with the story? Allah. Don't you think this is a genius story? I mean, who can compete with this story? Allah. What's wrong with you? Are you stuck with aha? Uh -huh? Are you Muslims or what? Allah. You repeat like a barut? MashaAllah. I mean, look, guys, look at the explanation. Look at this. This is a pure science. This is this is a pure science when Adam brother sister. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Zach and Nike is going to explain to us what happened exactly. Brother sister, there's a mountain next to the Kaaba, and this mountain is called. Let me remember. Hold on. Uh, the mountain of Abu uh, Abu Abu <clears throat> Abu Kubayth. This mountain, it's very huge. However, it's very small. It's like a small and a huge at the same time. It's very close to the Kaaba. And when Allah, he sent Adam, Adam, he looked around him. Where I'm going to get my supply from? At that time, there is no Home Depot. So Adam, he went all the way to the mountain and he found there a rock, which is a very beautiful rock. Amazing. So lovely. From the whole mountain, he grabbed only a rock. Muslims, are you serious? All the mountain, he grabbed a rock. Oh, uh, he took rocks. Sorry, he took rocks. Not only a rock. I thought only it's a rock. It's a rocks, man. What's wrong with you? After building the Kaaba, Prophet Ibrahim, A.S. again, stood in this mountain and called mankind to come and worship Allah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I mean, this is amazing. Let me go to Google. Hold on.
This is astonishing, man. Mankind. Mankind. Abdul, in the year 2017, Mecca is a small city. If not the Kaaba, nobody lived there. If not the trade business, nobody lived there. So what do you mean, mankind? Who is there? According to you, there was nobody there. I will go to Mecca right now. Hmm. Mecca. All right. Mecca, mankind. He called the mankind from the top of the mountain. All right. It's not even a mountain. It's a small mount, you know, like a small, tiny thing. You see, guys, it's a desert. It's a desert. Let me measure Mecca today. I'm going to measure Mecca today, not in the time of Abraham. <laughs> because according to Muslims, there was nobody except Abraham and Ishmael there. There's nobody. What do you mean mankind? Let me measure it. Hold on, hold on. I will, you see, I'm measuring all the buildings. You know, we see houses here, here. Okay, this is the end. I will measure from here to the end uh, buildings. The total is 10, less than 10 miles. This is today. All of Mecca today, the size of it, you can cross Mecca in crossing by crossing 10 miles if I want to go if I want to go to Walmart I need to go farther 10 mile what is that so Abraham he stood in the top of the mount of Abu Qubais and this is the Kaaba <coughs> All right. D guys, did you see Big Ben? Did you see Big Ben in the Kaaba? <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, the Muslim, they knew even about watches now. I thought this is Kufar things, watches and those things and the clock. What is that? You are copying the, the, the bridge. So uh, uh, Mecca became the Las Vegas of Saudi Arabia. Hotels everywhere, hashish, drugs, etc. Why? Because it's a great business. People, they come from around the world to spend their money in this stupid pagan ritual practice. So they are building more and more buildings and all of them, they are so close to the Kaaba, which is showing us how stupid the, the, the Saudi government. Guys, look, look how we close this building as an example. You see the buildings this is this is from the window so you can buy you can you can uh, rent an apartment there and you can do filming for all what's happening in the Kaaba just in the top of it they aren't even giving space like for to build more to expand no that's it they have all those high buildings around and they cost billions of dollars to to, to build them very high building look this is the one you see it look how big this hotel is let me go down so we can see a picture here of the hotel. Do you see how it closed? It's like Las Vegas. It's exactly like Vegas, Las Vegas. In the top of the of the hotel here, you will notice the moon sign. Do you see it? Pagan. The city pagan of the moon, God. There's not even 100 meter between the Kaaba and this casino. Look at this. But you can imagine how much money. And actually, I heard that the one who built this building, uh, he is the partner of the Saudi prince, Mardok. Anyone knows Mardok? Mardok is a Jewish guy. Anyone heard of him? 
Nobody heard of Mardok. He used to work as, as a driver for me. And I fired him because, you know, I was, you know, I got someone cheaper. So going back to the story. The Mount of Abu Qubais swallow or was having the black stone in his stomach. And that especially during the time of the flood of Noah. And then when the flood had finished, Allah, he ordered the Mount of Abu Qubais to vomit the black stone. Let us see if we can see the story here. No, there is nothing in the story here in this website. <clears throat> Let's see. Look like here we have something. But it's not opening. All right. Islamic landmark. This is the name of the website. Islamic landmark. This is the name of the website. All right. Let us close this one. You see, islamiclandmark.com, Mount of Abu Qubais. All right. It was the first mountain created by Allah, glorified and exalted He. According to At Tabari, Prophet Adam, uh huh, peace upon him died at the foot of Mount Abu Qubais. Here we go. Even Adam, he died there. I mean, what do you want more? <laughs> Adam, he died there. You believe it? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. Al-Hajar al-Aswad, the black stone, was protected when Allah glorified the exalted, is he, sent the flood in the time of the prophet Noah, <laughs> I told you. Do you see it? I told you. You don't believe me. You think Christian Prince? He say things from his head. You think he's drinking too much? Uh, you know, camel urine. This is what the Muslims believe. The black stone was swallowed by this mountain, and then when the flood of Noah is over, the mountain and the black stone came from his mouth. I mean, all of this makes sense, don't? Mm, come on, all right? <sighs> hmm. However, the Mount of Abu Qubais is very useful too, as an example, that Umayyad, Umayyad, governor of Al Hajjaz bin Yusuf al Thaqafi, he fired. Catapult from the top of the mountain of Quba, uh, of uh, Abu Qubais and he burned the Kaaba. He burned it. <sighs> Allah did not protect the Kaaba. Do we have any Muslim here have any comment? So, do you Muslim still insist that your religion is not a pagan cult? Stone and Allah preserved the stone, and the mountain swallowed the stone, and the mountain vomit the stone, and the prophet kissed the stone, and Allah sent the stone. I mean, what's wrong with you with stones? And yet, you are not 
pagan? Yeah, actually, I have a video about the destruction of the Kaaba, but I did not post it on YouTube because they will flag it, you know, uh, because I use a video from Islamic source. So you can go to minds.com. All right, you can go to minds.com, my, my account there. Uh, <clears throat> let me show you my address in minds.com. Here we go. This is my account there. You can go there and you can watch my videos. And you can subscribe too, because this is like a backup. And the same time, I load videos there. Videos I don't want to lo load in YouTube for the purpose I told you about. Uh, however, all our videos are very informative, and uh, we don't speak. You know, we don't speak stupidity. We don't make things up, and we don't lie. Because you see, when you say something, and that is not truthful, people will laugh at you, and people they will. Uh, uh, they, they will you will lose respect anyway <clears throat> right this is why I never mention something unless I show it to you from Islamic websites as I'm doing right now you know this is not a Christian website as simple as that everything we speak of is coming from their books from their sites even the translation I use it is Islamic translation as an example like I don't I, I told you Islamic translation is false still I use their translation to get them busted because if I say um, I, if I give my own translation the Muslim they will say to you oh he is lying to you this is not a correct translate you know right I remember uh, about more than 12 years ago when I uh, I debate Muslims uh, I show reference in Arabic and then the Muslim they say to you to to the American and Western and etc Look you see what he is doing. He is showing you reference in Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? At that time when I used to do that there was no Ibn Kathir in English. There was no uh, uh, Al-Bukhari in English So I had no choice If you go and see my my the video which is made by the, the Iranian government I don't know if you saw it they choose uh, uh, they have a program supposedly to speak about uh, Islamophobia and from all the videos in YouTube they choose my video you will notice that in that video I was pointing actually I don't even have a screen recorder it was like you know we are in the beginning of the internet age and the computer was so slow so big the internet uh, it's why the they up network it was horrible anyway so what I was doing I, I was holding a camera in my hand. You believe it? A recorder, camcorder. And I'm pointing my camcorder at the screen. And I'm recording. And then after that, I have to load the, 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 uh, the video in the computer and the process it. And so slow. It takes forever. It was horrible. But still, I was doing it because at that time, there was nobody really knows how to refute this cult. All right, Iran, Iran, national TV. What is Iran? I don't know what is Iran. You mean Iran? Actually, the the same program is published in the LBC and etc. And uh, somebody told me like your video is uh, in in this. Uh, you know, for me it's not a big deal. But I mean, they they. Uh, they notice how dangerous what I do and how much knowledge we have to expose their cult. My videos was not chosen by luck. It was a chosen for a reason. And the Muslims ignore and run away from debating me not by like, uh, they don't notice me, but they run. It's a choice to run because they knew they cannot make it. And if a Muslim want to debate you, he will say, Christian Prince, I want to debate you about the Trinity, only the Trinity. You know? The point they do that because they wanna they want they are trying as much as they can 
uh, you know uh, to, to attack so you will not be able they will not give you time even to debate them you know what I mean so like if you notice the debate we watched just two days ago between brother Adrian uh, and uh, you know uh, the other Muslim Abdul he was shooting question after question after question why because he is doing his best so nobody will see uh, nobody sorry he would not be able to ask questions so he wanna he wanna give as much questions as, as he can before this guy start asking me questions you know what I mean so he was like question after question after question how we can answer all those questions but the purpose is I want to throw as much questions I can so if he tried to attack Islam I say to him you don't want to answer my questions <laughs> you know what I mean Even though our brother Adrian, he is a new in the debating. This is the second time he debate. Even though he is a new, he was able to make this guy shish kebab. And this is why it's very important to take notes of what we do, what we say. Don't be just a person because the videos, those videos, we might lose them in one day. And this is why I keep asking everybody, please download my videos, save them, post them everywhere, different website, not necessarily YouTube. And when you repost, don't use the same name because if you use the same name, like make it the same name as topic, but not the same word by word. The reason I do, I say that to you, because then all the the the, the same video appear in one page, in the search engine, and there's no benefit of that. And the same time, it's going to be easier to flag your video because they can find it easy speaking about this topic. So change the name, and load it. And you can divide the videos we make to many videos my videos are long you know you can make every small topic at the time 15 minutes 20 minutes all right now we go back to our topic <clears throat> you want the link for what curious you want the, the, the minds it's appearing in the screen in the screen I have batterycom slash Christian Prince and then underneath it says to contact me minds.com slash slash Christian press so we have the two links there all right <clears throat> anyway so until now we did not receive any phone call or sorry Skype call from any Muslim to tell us what is the unique about the Yemeni corner the corner of the black stone which is the corner of Yemen which is the other corner facing the black stone what is unique about those stones and why if we touch them our sin is forgiven if there is any Muslim would like to tell us If you notice with me guys if you look at the, at the picture with me you will notice something weird here let me show you anyone notice something strange in this picture <clears throat> who will notice what is strange in this picture let me change the picture hold on looks like all those pictures are kind of small so we have to zoom in the corner stones they don't match with each other it's like somebody brought them and put them there correct Obviously, they are not part of the Kaaba. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can show you closer shot. This is a closer. You see how it is? It's not part of that thing. So where they came from? And why it's called the corner of Yemen? 
the answer is very simple you remember what we say to you about the temple of al makkah you remember the temple of al makkah which is built by the sabian those are grabbed from there and the purpose they brought them from there is very simple al makkah temple is a holy temple it is the major it is the first house built for the moon god so in order to build a new house you have to get holy rocks from the big house it's like you have a new chapter or a new branch you know what I mean it's like having authority so the Kaaba is a collection of many religions those who believe in the black stone those who worship the daughters of Allah Manat and Al Uzza and the third one those they love the black stone which have nothing to do with the other beliefs this is the vagina of one of the goddess of the Arab and the Mohammedan but the, still the Kaaba is not complete because there's other religions which is more important and more popular so in order to make our Kaaba popular we have to bring or we have to establish a belief that this is the Kaaba is the same as if you why you want to go all the way to Yemen to visit the temple of Al Makkah come to our Makkah you know what I mean why you want to go all the way there we have a Kaaba here for you so if you want to go to the temple of Al Makkah and this is their Kaaba to visit the Kaaba of Al Mecca, which is far away. If you are a local from the area which we are in, we have the rocks. We brought them all the way from the Temple of Yemen, and we placed them for you in the Yemeni corner. So it's going to save you a lot of time from going all the way like okay you want to kiss the black stone what if i bring the black stone to you you know what i mean so this is why those stones they don't match with the rest of the stones because they are coming from different area they are coming from different country and the reason they are brought over to make this kaaba qualified to be visit so let us say we have like an uh, uh, we have an open buffet and you say okay on, in my buffet i have only uh, chicken what if I, I like turkey do you have turkey no do you have ribs no do you have a so in order to make it fit for all kind of taste we added more things to flavor it and to make it interesting for all kind of religions so look what muhammad he did Muhammad is just a pagan person who follow what the pagan before him practice he got from everything something the pagan before him they used to practice what it's called as Safa and Al Marwa and we explained to you before what is as Safa and Al Marwa is as Safa and Al Marwa is a pagan practice where there was a status of a male man and female women supposedly those male and female they have sex inside the Kaaba and they made or some stories they say that Allah he made them rocks and the Arab they used to visit between them doing rituals of Hajj so the Muslims in the beginning of Islam they thought Muhammad he will not practice the rituals of the pagans before them because he told them that we are not pagans 
and he was not praying to the Kaaba. Remember, Muhammad was for a certain time he forgot about the Kaaba. The hypocrite. At that time, he was praying toward the Jerusalem. Why? Because he was trying to convince the Jews that he's a prophet from from the same God. But when the Jews and the Christians, or what they call Nasara, they did not accept him. At the end of the day, he came back to his pagan roots. So as Safa wal Marwa min Sha'ari Allah, فمن حج البيت واعتمر فلا جناح عليه. What is as Safa and al Marwa? This is a chapter two. Verse number 158. If you go to the interpretation, and this is the official government of the Kingdom of Jordan, this is not our website. You will see that this is about a pagan practice and even the Muslims they hated to do it they don't want to do it I mean why we gonna do it this is pagan supposedly if you go to the book of Asbab and Nazul you will find this it says uh, this was this verse was revealed about the helpers they used to the helpers is a group of people who uh, uh, join Islam. They used to make a, a hajj to the mount, which is a Safa and Marwa. Okay. And also used to avoid, oh, sorry, they used to go to to, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to this uh, uh, mountain, but they, they avoid to go to a Safa and Marwa. When Islam came, they asked Allah Messenger, Allah bless him, and give him peace about this. And Allah the exalted revealed the verse. Okay, but this is not really not, not, not the whole story. The story is actually more than this. Read with me. Before Islam, they used to do Hajj to the Mount, etc., and were forbidden from going between a Safa and Al Marwa. But when they went to do Hajj with the Prophet, with the Messenger, Allah bless him. They mentioned that to him. The question, who is the one was forbidding them from doing that? Who is the one is forbidding them? Why they are forbidden from doing that? It's the same man who forbid them is the same one who allowed them before. He was trying to isolate himself from those who do the Kaaba and they pray in the front of the Kaaba and they kiss the black stone and they do to the Safa and Marwa, which is a pagan practice. If you go down here, says Anas ibn Malik said, We dislike going between a Safa and Al Marwa because they wear the shrine of Quraysh in the pre Islamic period. Okay. So they are what? They are the shrine of Quraysh in the pre Islamic period. Muhammad now, in this stage, he have to approve what he disapproved before because now the Kaaba became very important. He is not interested as before with Jerusalem. He is not praying to Jerusalem no more. And he is trying to convince the Arab to join his religion. And the Arab, they like as Safa, and they like the Marwa, and they like the Kaaba, and they like the Black Stone, and they like the, 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 uh, 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 the Moon God. So uh, Muhammad, he have to continue in he have to go back to his roots otherwise he is rejected he is losing the christian refuse him the, the jews refuse him okay who so what he is going to be he found that there's no place for him except going back to his roots and then he start practicing again the rituals of the pagans of the kaaba because he's a false prophet and this is why the verse says there is no sin in doing a Safa and Al Marwa. What do you mean there is no sin? That's mean the Arab they thought there is a sin in doing that. There is no sin. <laughs> why there is why you are saying that? Read with me the translation. <clears throat> 
Behold, the Safa and the Marwa are among the simple of Allah. Why? <laughs> why? Any Muslim want to tell us why? So if those who visit the house in the season, which might be the time of the Hajj or other time, should compass them round, they have to go around them, they have to visit them. Your Hajj is not perfect, is not complete if you don't go and visit the Safa and Marwa. Why? What what those things will do? I mean, why if I visit those places, uh, why it's important to Allah? What, what does that mean? I mean, think about it. How stupid that is. What that will do for me as if I am a Muslim, if I visit those two locations uh, and I go between them and I have to, by the way, you have to run when you go between them. You cannot just walk. You have to walk fast. There is a certain way you have to do it. It's not just walking. It's like jogging, you know. So you have to do it in a certain speed. You have to repeat certain words. And you have to reach to each of those little tiny hills where two idols were placed in the top of them. And they were idols of a man and a woman who supposedly they have sex together in the Kaaba. Look what it says here. This verse, and he said, Go to Ibn Abbas and ask him. They were asking him about a Safa al Marwa. Okay. He said, There was on Al Safa an idol in the form of a man called Esau, and on Al Marwa an idol. In a form of a woman called Naila. What? <laughs> and this is the symbolic of Allah? This is the symbolic of Allah. And look here where they can play, they, they continue. The people of the book uh, claimed that those two had commit adultery in the Kaaba. And as punishment of Allah, he turned them into stones. I mean, look how stupid this story is. If those are two people who have sex in the Kaaba, why you make a, a, a status for them and you visit between them? I mean, it doesn't make sense. And why Allah, he adopt such a thing? Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? <clears throat> Not even one. So there is no there is no doubt that this religion is a pure cult, pagan. And it's a mix of religion. You see, Islam is not only about the moon god, it's a mix of religion. Muhammad he took from every religion something if you go right now and search for the word Sabian as an example Muhammad he said in the Quran let me show you <clears throat> إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَالَّذِينَ هَادُوا وَالنَّصَارَى وَالصَّابِئِينَ وَمَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخَرَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا فَلَهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ Okay, that's enough. وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ So, chapter 2, verse number 62. What is that? Let us read translation. Those who believe... It doesn't say in the in the Quran in the Quran, but it meant the Muslims and those who follow the Jewish scriptures and those who they are the Christians and the Sabian. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All those, all those, and whoever make do righteous, they shall receive reward from their Lord. Who is left? 
who is left? Those who believe in the God of the Kaaba and those who believe in the Torah, those are the Jews. And those who are the Christians, and those who they are the Sabians, and whoever believe in Allah, and whoever do righteous, shall have their reward with their Lord. But those, they don't share the same God. Same time here, I challenge the Muslim to tell me how the Sabians were able to enter the blessing of Allah and the reward of Allah. Who are they, the Sabians, to appear in the Quran as a believers? We just showed you that the Sabians are the one who built the temple of Al Makkah. You know what I mean? Do you remember? Let me show you the website. The Sabians are the one who built. You see? The Sabian God, Al Makkah. This is their temple. The Sabian are the one who built this temple. Right? And that explain why they are appearing in the Quran as believers and they will go to heaven and they have no fear of the judgment day because they are saved. But the Sabians don't believe in Jesus. The Sabians don't believe in the religion of the Jews. Actually, the Sabians, in case you do not know, they call, they consider the God of the Jews the devil. Adonai, Adonai is the devil for the Sabians. And the Sabians in their book, they speak about the Jewish that they are evil. And the reason they are evil, one of the reasons, because they do circumcision. But Muhammad, he took from the Jews the circumcision. You know what I mean? Isn't it Muhammad who adopt the circumcision from the Jews? He is copying them. The Sabi and they, they, they believe one of the reasons to believe anyone to be a devilish, a satanic, let us say evil, is the practice of circumcision, you know, to, to circumcise. And they have a text about that. They hate the Jews to death. Any, uh, there's other reasons the Sabi and they hate the Jews for. Anyone, anyone can say something? Anyone can remind me of something? Let us see who is of you is learning here. There's other reason which is very important. The Sabians they hate the God of the Jews. Anyone? Anyone remember something? Let us see who of you is uh, studying. No, I'm saying why? Uh, yeah, Muhammad was one of the Sabians. Yes, he is made by the Sabian. Actually, I can show you a video that all the prayers Muslim they practice is a Sabian prayer. All of it. The evolution is the same. The prayer is the same. Everything cleaning the ears, the nose, the feet. It's, it's exactly the same. But this is another question. What is the reason the Sabians because of Egypt? All of us we knew that in the Torah, the story of Moses is crossing the ocean, crossing the sea, right? And what happened to the Pharaoh and his army was destroyed. The Sabian, the Sabian, 
believed that Pharaoh was one of them. Egypt was Sabian, and they believe in what the Sabians believe. And I will not be surprised if this is true, because as you see, the Sabian they built temples all the way in Yemen, and Yemen is far away, is a lot more far than going to Egypt. You know what I mean? So the Sabians they hate the Jews and the God of the Jews because the God of the Jews destroyed the army of the Pharaoh. So the Sabians they have a very anti-Jewish scriptures is speaking about the devil God of the Jewish who destroyed their fellow believers. So how those people who consider the God of the Jews is evil God became a believers in the Quran? Any Abdul? For sure, there is no answer. As usual. But Muhammad, in the beginning, this guy is a hypocrite man. When he is with the Sabians, he is a Sabian. When he is with the Nasara, who they are not a Christian, they are a Christian cult, he is Nasara. When he is with the Jews, he is a Jew. When he is with the pagan, he is a pagan like them. This is why we see the satanic verses Is exist why the satanic verses exist Muhammad when he was in the front of the pagans and there was nothing but the pagan around him his family the Arab he paid he prayed to the three daughters of Allah and he praised them and he says their intercession is a must he thought that this news will not spread around so he was being hypocrite to the Arab so in the front of the Muslims he says something in the front of the Christians he says something in the front of the Jews he says something in the front of the Sabian he says something if you remember if you remember I will give you a clear example about this I know there's no Muslim will dare to call us and you know why it's not a secret Switch to Arabic. Do you remember this, this verse? What man and Sahumin Aya, O non siha, not to be hair in Minha, O Mithliha. Very stupid verse. We, we spoke about it just a few days ago. Chapter 2, verse number 106. This verse alone is enough to prove that Islam is a stupid religion. And whoever made this Quran is an idiot. None of our revelation we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we substitute something better or similar. I mean, how stupid that is. Allah, He made Quran and then He caused you to forget the Quran. And then He don't worry, be happy. I'm going to make something similar. I mean, why you forget why you make us forget the Quran if it's similar anyway? <laughs> and what do you mean or or better? Allah is going to make better Quran from the Quran. Allah is going to attend the school like he is going to improve his grammar to fix the, the horrible mistakes of Arabic in the Quran, which we see all over. 
What do you mean are going to make better Quran? But the fact this is about Muhammad, he cannot repeat the same thing twice. Number one, because he's a liar. Number two, because he's a hypocrite. In front of the Jews, he says something. In front of the Christian, he says something. In front of the of the Buddhas, he says something. Oh, sorry, I mean the, the Sabian, he says something. In, in front of the uh, the Arab, the, the the ones who worship the Lat al Uzza, he says something else. If we go and see the interpretation of this verse, chapter two, verse one o six. Look what they said to him. Read with me, guys. Read with me, please. This is the Muslim books. This is not our books. This is not an article written by a Hindu. This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul. Do you see it, Muslims? Chapter 2, verse 106. They got him busted. They knew his fake. Look what's happening. The idolaters said, Don't you see that Muhammad? command his companions with something and then he forbids them from the same and command them to the exact opposite <laughs> i mean do you see it is it clear that this guy is playing games He command them something. Then he go two meters away. He see different group. He give different command. Depend who is talking to who. This is cannot be a prophet of God. What do you mean he give them a command and he different something? And the Quran confirmed that he was doing that. This is why it says, Ah Allah, He is He sent the Quran and He abrogate or He caused to be forgotten. So they are saying, Muhammad saying, Oh, I forgot the Quran, so I gave different command. Allah caused me to forget the Quran. This is a prophet of God. He says something to this group. He says the opposite to the other group. He say Quran here, but the Quran there doesn't match. And this is why Muhammad he said to cover his ass. May Allah bless his ass and keep it round. Hmm? That Allah he sent him the Quran in one reading, one Quran. But Muhammad don't like it. So Muhammad he requested his God to send him seven Quran. Seven Quran. What do you mean seven Quran? Why this guy he needs seven Quran? Muslims, imagine we change the name of Muhammad to the name of Musa. We say Musa. Imagine why Musa did not ask Allah for saving Torah. Huh? Allah has Jibreel came to Muhammad and said, Read with me, Abdul. Read, 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 nation of donkeys. I mean, even donkeys are smarter than you. Jibreel came to him and said, Came to who? To Muhammad. Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect. Huh? What dialect? My friend, uh, we just measured for you Mecca now, 2017. It's not even 10 miles wide. What when for Mecca we need more than one dialect? What dialect? It's one family, it's a tribe. All of them they are Quraysh. <laughs> then, upon this, he said, I ask Allah, I ask Allah pardon and forgiveness. My people are not capable. 
of doing it like what the heck my people are not capable of doing what they cannot function with this one Quran we need more Quran if one Quran will not work, two Quran will work? No. Three Quran will work? No. Four? No. Five? No. Six? No. Seven? Yes. Thank you very much. A small, tiny village of Mecca needs seven Quran in seven reading so the little tiny tribe of Quraysh can understand the Quran. Is that a tribe of donkeys? And does that mean that Muhammad, he was correcting Allah? Allah, he sent one Quran. Allah command you to read the Quran in one letter. Muhammad said, oh, please, please, please don't do that. Don't do that to me. My people are donkeys. My followers are a bunch of donkeys. They will not understand the Quran from the Quran. We need my Quran. So imagine I have my books. You can go to Amazon, search for my name, a Christian Prince. You will find all my books. Imagine I make the same book, The Deception of Allah, seven copies. It's the same book, supposedly, but different words and different titles and different shish kebab. Supposedly, this, if you, you have to buy my seven books in order to understand my book. But all of them, they are one book. Huh? <laughs> I mean, who is the crazy here? But the fact about this, that Muhammad, the false prophet, he say many things and they don't match. So when when people they ask him how come this verse you just said yesterday it does not match with the same verse you said today he have to come with this lie that i ask allah to send me the quran in seven letters seven reading how in the world anyone can believe in such a lie and such a stupidity and who is muhammad to request from Allah to send him more Quran and Allah he make more Quran and who inspire Muhammad that Muhammad ask me ask me I am Allah ask me I want you I want I want to inspire you you to, to, to say to me send me more Quran was Allah inspiring Muhammad to ask for more Quran why Allah waited for Muhammad to say I want more Quran what if Muhammad did not say I need more Quran and why he sent him Quran after Quran after Quran? And now, where is the seven Quran? You see, the Muslim they say to us, our Quran is a preserved. Here we go. This is your own books, and this is a Sahih Hadith. Says that Allah He sent you seven Quran. Where are they? If the nation or the tribe of Quraysh are going not to be capable of understanding the Quran, if it is one Quran, how a Pakistani idiot who do not speak Arabic, he is going to understand the Quran in one letter, not the seven as we see here, and he don't even know Arabic. The Arab, they cannot understand the Quran if it is one Quran. The Arab, not the Pakistani. Do you see it? My people are not capable of doing it. Doing what? Is that a sport? No. Is that jumping and humping? No. It's about learning about a book. So if it is one letter, even the Arab who speak pure Arabic, they will not be capable of learning this book. 
So bringing more Quran, it was a necessity. And we're talking about, we're not talking about more verses. Remember here, we are talking about a new Quran, a new book. So now we should have seven Quran, seven books of Quran. 